All right, so welcome, welcome to a new episode of the Lord of the Rings Online Let's Play. We play a Bjorning on the server Treebeard so far. We still have no pants. I don't know why, but we lost them. And uh, we are currently in the Breeland doing a little tour. Like the quest is literally called, well, actually, the quest is called No Time for Tours. But uh, yeah, we kind of do a tour in the western part of Breeland with this quest. This is where we're going to continue on. Um, yeah, let's head straight into it. Um, today I think it's the seventh episode. And uh, we will keep going with the quest chains here with um, Grimbar Grimbriar. Yeah. But basically what we figured out last time is um, the influence of a mysterious uh, supervillain called Sharky. Which turns out to be Saruman. Tries to take over the Shire and Breland. And then we try to uh, basically question how the bandits, why and how can we defeat them, you know? But first, uh, here we have this camp. This uh, is called Thornley's Worksite. Looks like they're building a little town here. Um, okay, actually, we have some quests still to do. And I think last time I forgot to do the following one, the Flow of Goods. Which is collect stolen goods. So this is where we're heading now quickly. And then we're going to port back and finish that with a mutual coin. Now let's quickly see if we can read something on the way there. Oh yeah, and okay, we also got this quest, the Whale of Andraf. They want us to go here to the very southern part of Bree land. And uh, I, think, I think we do this... We will see, actually. We will see. If we have to go there already. First, I'm going to collect stolen goods here in the bandit camp that we went to last time already. Getting your bearings completed. What is this? Enter bear form. Oh, okay. Okay. Can we collect this as a bear? Requires human form, of course. And interrupted. Right. Head more. Obviously the goal was to do this before. Like the last time he came here. But I think I forgot to take the quest. Here we are. Back at it again. Right. Requires human form. I'm just picking up some, some boxes, I guess. 5 out of 12. Okay. Eight. And one more. Where would that be? Eventually we have to come back here because there is a mission where you have to uh, defend someone and escort someone. Okay. Human port, please. Alright, that should be it. Let's pour back. Let's... Uh, 
finish that. What can I do for you? Okay, that was for now everything. So we can now go and find the nades. Getting the blade back. All right. Let's get the blade back. It's actually so nice to have this um, this skill that makes you so extremely fast. Like I don't really feel the need to mount up to be honest. It should be here. Okay, I guess Nate is dead. Requires human form. Okay, bring the broken hill to Kenton Tistleway. Let's run there. They're indeed building a little town here. Trying to expand a bit. Right, so I do I have to talk to again? Here. Ah. Oh. Okay, for some reason it doesn't show me on the map. Greetings. That's weird. Right. And we have to go back. We're gonna use a port for that. If someone killed Nate, and now they want me to go back and bring him repaired items, all right? How can I be of service? Let's do Rex. Okay, more quests. Where's this guy? Okay, gave us iron straps. And then we need to collect flawless borehide and trinket. I think I know what it is. All right. We're almost level 17, by the way. Probably actually going to reach that today. Every uh, odd level you get a skill point, so level 17 you get a uh, yeah another skill point. So boars, get the boar. The trinket should be laying around here. Uh, at some point I also get the AoE skill in bear form and this is the moment when we gonna pull a lot, like a lot lot. Yeah. Probably need to be um there in human form for that. Like those. Another one. The breeze pile. Backpack. Okay, there we go. Searching and for pack. We have like three mutual coins left, so it looks like we gotta buy some new ones soon. Uh, this is oh already level seventeen. Okay. Okay, so now we have a list that they want us to go back. Let's let's read. Though the cursed dragons took this away, daughter, this is bad. The sword isn't ready yet, and I know these types of fellows. They won't take no for an answer. They will kill that girl. You will have to mount the rescue and free Canton's daughter. Hurry now and gather friends. I will fear you will need them to face Blake. Okay, now we have to go back to the camp. <laughs> now we actually actually have to go back and save uh, Maribel Tistelway. So let's do that. This escort mission I was talking about a, minute, a few minutes ago. So, actually now, let's see. I know that this is a good skill, so we go for the skill. Execute. This is a fast skill. Consuming all of your wrath. You put all your energy into one final attack to defeat the enemy before you. Only usable on a target below 30% health. Okay, well, this might not be that relevant for now, but in the future it might be. Um, okay, this definitely gets some buff further on. And this is what doing. 
single attack. So you can basically turn into single attack with dots. Uh -huh. Elite damage, alright. We will see. Okay. Um, but I would say we just rush into the camp. Like completely not caring about how many we're going to pull. Might be that's a bad idea. But uh, some action, I guess. Wish we had some area. Nasty dot on us. The only thing that really does damage are dots in this game. Right. We'll actually have to defeat them before we can probably open that gate here. No, we don't. Okay. You startled me. Hold on. One might to die. I need to heal. The bear form. Oh, by the way, where's the skill? Oh, apply. Okay. Um, it's Blake. I'm gonna use it. There it is. Bomb. <laughs> okay. How about we arrange the skills? I kind of want this on one. Like this. Yeah, let's, let's do them, something like that. Do I really need like bear form? I feel like you can also go in bear form by just doing wanderlust. Much better. We have rescued Maribel. Let's go back and bring the the happy message, I guess. Vitality. Let's take this one. I still have no pants, by the way. What about this weapon here? This this dagger. Might is better. But um we need like a second weapon, right? So no, probably not. Alright, um Falk, uh no not this one. We do this later. Okay, now they actually want us to go to the Whale of Andreth. So, um how we do that? We could run there or we could port there. Well then we get more mutual coins. Quickly. There we go. I don't know, maybe maybe you can run there and see a bit of the world, you know? But what if I turn off the camera for that and let's get a nice little view of free land at night, maybe. While being a bear that runs like super fast. I mean, probably normal for a bear to run that fast, obviously. Of course. Greenway crossing. This is where the Great East Row crosses the Greenway. Two very uh, iconic and important roads, the Second and First Age. Nowadays, they kind of fell apart. They don't. They're not used that much anymore. But it is basically the Greenway now that we are running on. It was a connection between Fornost and Minas Tirith. So, one way that ran all across of almost Eriador down to, uh, well, Isengard, down to Belfalas, and then all the way on South Gondor into Minas Tirith. Not sure, Isengard, let me check. It ran here. You know, like Dunland, sorry, I can uh, 
this sound like confused that went down here and all the way here erif nimras like the south gondor all the way into minas tirith way of kings another iconic map or another lotro map where this path is kind of important is enedvat like here with all those um those arcs basically basically on the way in there to dunlands then the road kind of diminishes a bit it's not being used anymore nowadays So this is Andraf on ruins. Let's turn on the cam back and uh, let's see. So this is another like set of bandit camp here, basically. And they seem to enjoy taking old places and kind of inhabit them. This is one of those again. Based on the geographic location of those ruins, that might be a ruin of Cardolan. That's mostly in the southern part of Eriador. And they will give us a bunch of quests now to do here. And this is where Sharky has most of them uh, stationed. Since he comes, you know, Sharky, Isengard, Saruman. Comes from the south, so this is the most southern part. Hence, um, it's where we find the most of those bandits too. And uh, we have to defeat bandits. But also some um, neckbreakers. Plus... Um, Sure, maybe turtles. There's also a quest where we have to defeat turtles. We have to defeat no, no boars. We have to defeat those, the neck breakers. Let's do that. And there's a bunch of them. Oh, God damn it! Bunch of them at the lake down there. There we go to now. There's also a deed for them. Neck breaker slayer. But it makes sense to maybe kill a few more than we are supposed to. Maybe not now. I want to go down here because there's also this quest. Turtles in the soup. And for that we have to talk. Oh, actually, we can't do it yet. Okay. We have to talk to someone first. Okay, I guess it's a quest we're not going to do. But yeah, it's basically we have to kill turtles. And then... Uh, they're on the other side of that lake here. Not that interesting. Right. Kind of annoying that they have to like dig down and wait for like five seconds until they come up again. Well, they can also stun, I guess. I didn't know that. <laughs> right. Just give them a dot each and then. This should be fine. You can either do the, the beast worm, that's a dot. Or I can do this one, this is the bigger one. Bash. Like this. Then they should die when they when they dig in. Right. Nine out of twelve. And that's the last one over there. Good, that was the neck breakers. And now we go back to the ruins and the rest is basically just kill bandits, collect stuff, kill a kill the leader. That's pretty much it. <laughs> no 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 uh, magic here. So we, we not we don't uh, go like detective mode anymore, try to sneak in. We just go in there, kill everyone, go out. Problem solved. All right, um, what's this? Oh, this is uh, a guide for crafting the, the yeoman, which is the cook, farmer, and tailor. All right, let's see. So 20 brigands. The brigands will drop goods, but they can also be collected. But we eventually just kill everything. It's the quicker way usually than collecting stuff. 
especially since collecting might require us to be in human form, which I not really like. I mean, when I play a Bjorning, I enjoy being a bear, you know? <laughs> it's also much stronger. The only reason I go into human form is to heal up and get some wrath. Dead. Let's have you fight all the way up to the the leader. I don't really know where he is. Is he there? This one. But the, it's the captain. Not really the leader. I think the leader is up there. Actually, let's go human for one quick AoE. And healing, maybe. Boss. Is that the boss? Okay. Oh wow, that was the boss, I guess. Oh, there's also Lieutenant. Okay. So, Lieutenant 2. And the Lieutenant is upstairs. Pretty sure about that. Okay. This one gets a dot, this one gets a dot. Let's heal up a bit. Four more goods, okay. Four more kills. It's a lieutenant. Now this one gets to execute. Oh, I have, I have cooldown. Never mind. Never mind. Alright. So that's basically it. Or back to all those uh, NPCs here. Or those two. How can I be of Finish that. Greetings. And then he will send us will back to the him? Chief Watcher. What you need? How can I be of service? What can I so yeah, the story you? is basically, you know, we can went here and stopped the Sharky's invasion. More or less, since they all come from the south. I'll be back here. And, uh... Okay, now we have to go to Atsu Haybank. This is now another location of our um, tour. And that's walk there, I would say. It's right over there. On here. We have like three quests here. This one, this one, and this one. That leads us there, and I will cancel this one. This is for later on. And Langlin will be somewhere over here. But this is then when we do the last step of the No Time for Tours questline. Let me go to Buckland, which is uh, at the border to the Shire. It's a bigger hobbit um, colony. So, what does he say? Watcher Grimbar dispatched you to investigate the claims of more southern activity along the Great East Road. The hobbit there, also Haybank, requests assistance against thieves and brutes. So basically, uh, we're gonna keep uh, pushing back the bandits and uh, Sharky's men. Now on a different location. 
There's also a stable master. But if you're gonna use him, but here is Atsu. Should have three quests for us. Or two. Hello. No time for tours. And then this is the pipe wheat. So that's the pipe wheat. Alright, let's take all the quests here. Um okay. Oh, okay. Alright, never mind. This is the P or any class quest. Every class at level 15 gets a class quest that usually gives you a class trade point. And for that we will need to go they call it the speech of animals oh actually here so we have to talk to this guy let's do this quickly why not easy class trade point oh, I do so, not like this great beef old forest, forest but i will show you where i saw that great beast of a bear hmm. so the bear there's something over there wolf we will go probably into the old forest today or next episode for sure but yeah here it is already a little sneak peek <laughs> a deer talk to new arrival in language of animals talk to Klotar. so this is a forest where what should I say? So, ways how forests are created in Middle Earth or in the world. Like, there was this one Valar called Yavanna. Like, Valars are like kind of godly creatures. They were all sent into the world. They created the world, you know, with music and stuff. And Yavanna was kind of the. She was kind of the. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, the hippie, I guess, you know? Which is very. She's very into like plants and living things. So, she basically planted all over the world, like, seeds and trees and also created the uh, ants that should guard over those forests, you know? And the old forest, like, those forests, like, call them primordial, like, literally, like, ancient, uh, you know, forests, like, when they were literally planted. And, uh... This would like cover entire middle earth those forests you know like all of this would be covered in trees and they would all be somehow connected so basically the fungern would be kind of connected to the old forest that's also why the trees are equally thick here as the fungern and also there is trees which are alive there too that's also what's said in the books you know that there is something that makes the trees uh, alive there in the water but in the fact it's just the same type of forest as it was like as the fungor just now cut off due to like humans that use like needed wood for cities and fire and all that stuff you know this uh yeah this is a little remainment of uh one of those uh those woods also why there is uh horns or even ants in the past Alright, so we have now, we should have a class trade point now. What do we get? We take... Um, slash applies a bleed to its target. So this one, I don't really use this a lot. I mean, we don't need it. Let's just go for crit chance for now. That's actually the best to do. Okay, so... Let's take quests now. I do not ask much of you. And uh, they want us to. Would you do something for me? Go and uh, yeah, go. That's like a, that's like more of those bandits over there. Let's see. Cybank has asked your aid in serious action against the brigands, extorting and threatening him and his workers. The brigands' activity within Otto's camp and how many of the workers have lost their coin purse or had tools stolen since the knaves started muscling them around. Some workers have fled, but many trust that Otso's effort can make things alright. So, what does that mean? Well, it's always the same. We have problems with bandits. You know. And eventually those bandits uh, will die with uh, Sharky. Saruman. But we also have to defeat a few boars. Collect boar heads. 
which does not seem to have a 100% drop chance. So let's finish those two quests and then we will probably end for today. It's not now. We still have things to do. Okay. Boars. They should be all over the place here. Then here, even the bee swarm. That should be fine. Let me go for this. Fine. And then here. Six out of ten. And this one. Thought should be should be enough. One more. Thought that I guess the dots too. This one just gets clapped, let's be honest. Let's execute maybe. There we go. Alright, that's all the boar heads. And now let's go to the farm, to the sweet cross farm. Which is over there. Actually, could go now for. Can we actually dual wield already? We can. Okay, let's do that. Why not? When and whenever we can go for dual wield, then we go for dual wield. I like dual weapons more than two single hand weapons. To be honest. Right. We basically just clap those uh, bandits here. This one has no dots. Take the execute. Eight out of twelve. Almost done though. Come on, just don't be so so scared. I'm just a bear, you know, that eats you alive. Actually I don't think that the Ornings eat meat. I feel like they're like hardcore vegans. I think that might be actually written somewhere. Okay. Let's go. Let's go finish the quests. So Why are you bothering it might be that we now have to go to the old forest, right? Yes. So yeah, that's actually actually perfect ending for today because the next episode we will go into the old forest. Hello. And uh, yeah, this is basically now the outro already. While I take here those uh, more quests, okay, that's one more quest here. I'm gonna do that. Mm. You know what? This is not the outro yet. Let's go for one more. There's one more camp of bandits that we're gonna raid, and then uh, we end. Just then, next episode, perfect transition into the old forest. And there will be a lot of old forest uh, quests anyway. Like the Buckland quests are also old forest. But more of the southern part, where here it's more of the northern part. Right, so here, yeah, basically same story. Clap everyone. Now do wield. And there's no dots. Alright, how many? After the feet. 5 out of 12. 6 out of 12.
Oh, that looks like the boss. Okay, well, we actually done. Let's get rid of those here. And we need some AoE, guys. We actually need some AoE. And then uh, we will look pretty good against those bigger pulls. Okay. Go back. Otso's camp. Yesterday, two days ago, basically, they released here a new map for the troll shows and this part, the Angle of Mid Idol, update 32. And uh, was there actually pretty good. Is there something I can do for you? So, just a moment. Oh, actually, another level. Okay, so we made one full level in one episode. I didn't see that coming. What is this? Grizzly Cry. Okay, so it's a fear. Um, it's a fear. Take more quests. Will you let me speak my piece? Okay. All right. They will. They want us to kill another one. <laughs> okay, I guess we don't go straight into the old forest next episode, but uh, almost. So this is it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the content or the video. If you want to see more, you can subscribe. Um, you can also watch me on Twitch. Uh, I usually stream Lotro, but also in other uh, variety games. With that being said, thanks a lot. Have a good day, have a good night, whatever time is it for you. And see you in the next episode where we go into the old forest. Maybe not from the beginning, but somewhere after like five minutes. All right, so thanks for watching. Bye, everyone.